So hello everyone. Today I'll be discussing the random versus marx in the WebC examination in the past four years. So I'll begin the discussion with the year 2019 and 18. Then I'll move to 2017 and finally to 2020. So let's begin. Mm. As you can see in the year 2019, uh, a marx more than 160 will fetch you a rank between 10. And from 160 to 130, it will give you rank between something 10 to 100. And as follows, 130 to 100 will give you a rank between 100 to 500. Then 100 to 90 will give you something between 500 to 1000. Then 90 to 80 will give you between 1000 to 2000. So there is a typo here as you can see. And 80 to 60 will give you something between 2000 to 5000. And 60 to 40 will be giving you something between 5000 and 10,000. Similarly, uh, in 2018, uh, anything above 160 will give you a rank between uh, less than 10 and then 160 to 140 will give you 10 to 100, 140 to 120, uh, 100 to 400, 120 to 100, 400 to 1000 and 100 to 80 will give you something between 1000 to 1000 and 80 to 60 will give you something between 2000 to 5000 and 60 to 40 will give you anywhere between 5000 to 10,000. So this is the general trend, uh, mostly in the WebG paper set, and this is the general thing, uh, and you can expect your rank uh, by seeing this table. But in 2017, the question was actually uh, pretty easy, and it will affect the rank versus marks. Uh, so if the question becomes easier, uh, for a higher marks, you will get a uh, higher rank. As you can see that for 2017, uh, for, for a single digit rank, you needed marks more than 170, and I know a senior who got uh, rank 7 uh, with the marks of 175 so with 175 marks you can get somewhere between rank 1 or 2 in the in the other years and from 170 to 150 it will uh, give you rank between 10 to 100 and from 150 to 140 it will give you rank somewhere between 100 to 400 140 to 120 it will give somewhere between 400 to 1000 120 to 100 it gave rank between 1000 to 2000 100 to 80, 2000 to 5000, and 80 to 60, it gave somewhere between 5000 to 10,000. So clearly, when you compare 2019 and 18 and 2017, you can see that the same rank comes for somewhere in the marks above plus 20. So suppose for 140, you'll give, you'll get somewhere in between rank of 100 to 400, but compare it to 2018, 140 will give uh, below rank of 100. I'm sure uh, that's the problem with it for easy papers and Coming to 2020, uh, which I attended, uh, the question was quite tough and for rank 10, less than 10, it, uh, anything above 150 gave a rank less than 10 and my friend Arka was a rank who got the rank 10, got uh, 155 or something like that and 150 to 120 will give you rank between 10 to 100. So you see quite less marks gives a rank, uh, two digit rank. I myself backed a 98 rank and I got 125. and 120 to 100 will give you between 100 to 400 100 to 90 will give you somewhere between 400 to 700 90 to 80 will give you somewhere between 700 to 2000 80 to 60 2000 to 5000 and 60 to 40 5000 to 10,000 So you can see this that uh, the rank versus marks is not a fixed number it depends on the standard of the question uh, For example in 2019 to 18 the question was pretty standard and rank versus marks became more or less same like the earlier years in 2017, the question was easier and uh, higher marks gave a higher rank and 2020, the question was quite tough and lesser marks gave a better rank. So that's it. And one more thing that I want to add that in the last video, Arka mentioned uh, the uh, college which you will get for a definite rank. For example, uh, taking the example of Jiu, uh, he said that CS will for CS will require a rank between, uh, uh, between 100, means, uh, means less than 100. But one thing is that in the offline counseling, the rank goes quite high. And for example, I know friends who have got between uh, rank close to 300, but still a certain CS in JU. So ultimately, uh, the college uh, rank versus college, it goes quite down in offline counseling. And that's it. Thank you. Hope you like the video. Like and subscribe.